guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to show you a couple of cool places around campus. As you know, this is Mansueto Library, famous for being in the Divergent movie where they shot the Erudite headquarters. So I started off having breakfast with my friend. I got buttermilk pancakes, hash brown, and then she got fried chicken and waffles. This is at Asione Bistro. It's super close to campus, only like a 10 minute walk. And it is so nice in here with the high ceilings, um, velvet chair design, and it's super calming and awesome for Instagram pics. Highly recommend you to check it out. So after breakfast, we went to get bubble tea, which is actually on campus itself, near Campus North. So you can literally live in the newest dorm and just walk here for bubble tea whenever you're feeling a little pick-me-up or some sugar and I love these candles they're so cute check it this one out is it like a pie and there's like a reindeer and a snowman I can't believe we're still like having Christmas themed stuff here even though it's not Christmas but you know I'll take anything cute time to order they still have a holiday special so I guess every day is a holiday Ooh, I love pink pink lemonade Nemo bottle. <laughs> you can also get merch. Let's see what to order. So many options. You know, I love me some creme brulee. delicious cakes as well. It's coconut ube and we have sea salt chocolate Oreo and some macros. But they're like covered so I guess you can't tell what flavor is in there. And strawberry shortcake. So I got two bubble tea. Isn't it so cute? Can't wait to consume this. And also, if you're looking for a nice photo op opportunity, here is the place. Nice sunlight and the crest of the school. Okay, now back to campus. There's the Regenstein Library and Mansueto. Everybody's studying because it's almost like finals and we're all so studious. <laughs> Cannot wait till this is over. So you enter the Mansueta Library through the Regenstein Library. It's just to your left. And this is the newest library on campus. And what's really cool about this library is there's supposed to be this robot machine arm thingy. It's supposed to get your books for you after you like place them at this like front desk. So I personally, I've just seen the arm, so I haven't really like, used it. But if anyone does come to campus and uses it, let me know how that goes. So I checked out some books because it's what you do at a library and it helps save money. So if you're looking for some textbooks or extra reading for class, this is the way to do it. It's a super easy system through the library. You just use your ID card and they would pull books from like a bunch of other libraries in the network. So even if they personally don't have the book right now, you can order it and then once you do, you can take it on a loan for about like three months and some of the books auto renew so you don't have to worry about paying extra fee if you miss the deadline. And then returning the books is also super easy. You just dump it in the, um, the sheet. So the books I got are for my women SEOs class. First one is Finding My Voice by Valerie Jarrett. And the second one is Becoming by Michelle Obama. Super excited to read these books. And honestly, what better place to do it than here in this lovely space. So I got a comment from Tushar. See, I do listen. 
about how to study and one thing I recommend is definitely place yourself in an area where other people are also studying or pretending to study and working hard because it implicitly makes you want to do better and intrinsically motivates me at least to go a little farther. For example, I go to the gym to work out because if I know the person next to me on the other treadmill is running super fast, well, I'm gonna also run faster than I normally would have if I'm just sitting by myself at home. So, another thing I'd suggest that works for me is to play music that is of a different language so you won't be tempted to sing along with it as you study. And it can really help you um, get in the mood and then start cranking out a paper. So for example, I love K-pop and when I listen to it, I would never be tempted to type Korean because I don't know how. So um, it really helps me get um, get my gears running. And then as soon as that happens, after like 30 minutes, I just lower the volume and then I'm in the zone. You cannot get me out, out of it until I finish writing or finish my thought. And finally, the third tip I have would be to start whenever you can. So if you have like a 10 minute or 15 minute break, just read the prompt of the homework you have and then jot down initial thoughts. And then throughout the day, your brain would just like work on it subconsciously or even in your sleep. And then as soon as an idea comes to my mind, at least, I use voice notes or uh, notepad or voice memo and then just jot it down. And then by the time I come back to my computer to actually start writing, I already have this list of ideas that I just need to put into complete sentences. So the work is no longer as overwhelming because you've already done it throughout the day. If you get a chance to stop by Jackson Park, definitely go there and immerse yourself in nature. It's a huge park, three minute walk from the Museum of Science and Industry, and this is my second time here. Definitely dressed up to match the flowers, and if you go during golden hour, you'll get some stunning selfies or Instagram pictures. Priorities, y'all. They have five varieties of flowers here. I've mainly seen the pink and white cherry blossoms. show you where everyone gets their graduation pictures taken. And these are the steps to the Museum of Science and Industry. This is the back side of it, but nonetheless the steps are iconic and reminded me of the steps of the New York Met. And it seems that the MSI also thinks so too. Sometimes there's a line, but sometimes there isn't. But either way, admission is free.
right outside the Japanese garden is this um, art installation by a peace activist called Yoko Ono who installed the sky landing and it's her first permanent public artwork in the Americas. So this is a really unique sculpture. It kind of reminds me of the petals um, belonging to a cherry blossom. And I feel like I don't say this enough, but thank you so much for your kind words and support for all of my videos. Every time I get tired or busy or feel like I want to quit, or let's just say not motivated, you guys send me this cute little note saying that you like my videos or it was helpful to you and it just means the world to me and that always brings me right back. Oh, and I love meeting you guys in real life too. I met this girl whose name is also Winnie at um, the Booth campus, so that was very fun. But yeah, if you guys ever need anything or have any questions, I'm always here for you, so feel free to reach out or even connect in person if you happen to be on campus. So thank you so much for watching and remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Air hug!